Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. It's like in Warlord. The Stash. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? We have a competition. The last competition. Oh, tears. Do you see my tears? Oh, my tears. Last competition of May Mayhem, even though it's August now. So, however that works. Uh, well, let's get into it uh, right now. So, shout out to uh, the MAF uh, Guild. They've got the Townstar News Announcements tab that I've been using because, as you all know, I'm still banned from their Discord. Uh, they're going to bring Fast Forward offline back uh, online, um, but it's buggy, so use at your own risk, uh, whatever that means. Um, I guess it's better than nothing if they bring it up, but the question is when it doesn't work, what are they going to do? about it and they probably won't do anything um the meta is going to be decorated cakes so we're getting a new biome this time uh we're getting a different biome than before which is super cool because who doesn't love not getting a river i know i love it when i don't get a river so yeah uh, i don't know why they chose to do that uh ignore this but the blueprint no one cares and decorated cakes uh we need candy canes as opposed to fancy cakes which don't need uh, they don't need candy canes. So I'm on the casual server right now. Remember, uh, this is our guild uh, refresh script. Also, there's a second script in there. Shout out to Wolf Town, uh, which auto refreshes the game twice, so that you don't. Uh, sometimes when you refresh, your stuff's missing or your workers aren't there. You do the double refresh and it fixes it. So if we look at our biome here, it's three trees on a plains with a uh, river. Now. Uh, excuse me, with an ocean. Uh, interesting thing to point out, again, they don't know how to do a desert. Um, I find that interesting that they still haven't figured that part out. Uh, one thing of note, uh, you only got two sources of water here. So uh, what I would recommend is uh, if you're doing no FT, so you don't have any FTs, um, you could realistically put that right, you know, get, you could, you could do that, but I would probably demo this one and put you another one uh, right here. Uh, another thing I would do that's easy to do, you start deleting all these planes, right? Or these pastures, that's money right there. So you can add in a couple more wells for your uh, farmer to grab, right? So we can put him some right here. Uh, you have shade being cast by this silo, right? So this silo is where they're gonna put the wheat. The things that are cash boosted is flour and salt. So if we pay attention to that and we come, uh, let's go, let's go right here. Let's go back this way, remove and we'll put our windmill right here. So again, we don't want, we want, we want it to be going as fast as possible. You can put a windmill here. You can put you can put windmills actually several places, uh, but drop a windmill there. Flour is fifty thousand per sale, and salt is eighty thousand. Um, so you can definitely put you some brine over here, and uh, you can start making salt. Uh, I will show you what it normally looks like. Give me a second. All right. So this is what uh, you could do for your uh, salt if you want to sell salt. Uh, put you some ponds and every two spaces you see the brine has enough water here and you got all this brine right here and you can stick your windmills right there stick you some storehouses stick you some farmers and this can make you some uh, make you some uh, salt and you can sell salt um, obviously you need to get gas production going all that good stuff but this would be a layout you could use I've used it in the past it's fairly common um, you probably don't need this one to be fair because it's not gonna be as fast but yeah, that's it. Do that for your brine. Uh, you can also do flour. You can do both. Do whatever you want. But I would uh, I recommend this layout. Let's zoom out a little bit. So this right here for uh, salt production. Um, so there you go. Put that right there. So again, decorated cakes. Uh, you need uh, bakeries, cakeries, and chocolate shops. Chocolate shops are going to make decorated cake. They're also going to make the chocolate bar. You need bakeries to make your butter. Then you need cakeries to make your batter and your cake. And then you're also going to need the candy shop, which is to make candy canes. Peppermint uh, isn't affected by shade, which is nice. You don't need strawberries this time, but you do need peppermint. Same concept, they aren't affected by shade. And uh, you see we're letting this thing fill up. Realistically, you want, uh, you know, you're going to start making flour. 
right? And uh, we're going to make this as easy as possible for our guy to, to go drop it off. So we're going to delete these. Again, when you sell these pastures, you get cash back. It is only 125 but that is still money in the bank. So uh, you can sell some gas if you really wanted to because of how much flour and salt sells for. You're more than welcome to do that. Uh, you basically, because the oil seeps right here, you could do that salt production that I showed you along here and then set your gas production up over here and you'd be good to go. Uh, it wouldn't interfere with your windmills or anything. So uh, overall, um, you got a lot of these to delete. That's 125 per. Uh, but yeah, um, let's quickly go ahead and look at Dub's build and look at Estrella da Cidade's build. So we'll go to videos real quick. Shout out to both of them. Um, let's go full screen here. Okay. So this is the build to produce flour. They're producing a bunch of flour uh, for cash. So that's pretty cool. It's a lot of windmills. And then uh, achieve the goal much less time compared to previous competitions. So they're showing like 18, uh, 16, 17, 18 decorated cakes. Let's see what the final build looks like. Oh, we just went to the outro. Okay. So 16, let's call it 16 decorated cakes. You can see he's got windmills all over here. There's his. Uh, cows again no FT build trees sugar uh, peppermints right here uh, cocoa right there because again you don't need you don't need much chocolate to do all that but yeah that's his build layout you see these guys candy shops over here bakery cakery chocolate shops all that so very cool layout and let's check on old dub here shout out to dubstep and Estrella okay so here's dubs build much cleaner uh, what, what are we looking at for rates, Dub? Let's see. Dub's doing about 11, 11 to 12, uh, 11 to 12 decorated cakes an hour with this setup. So you can see he's got his trees here. He's got his wheat, sugar cane, trees, peppermints. Where's his peppermint at? I don't see his peppermint. Where's his peppermint? Dub, where's your peppermint? There's his cocoa. I don't see his peppermint. Is that here? This is his peppermint right here. Okay. Peppermint right here. Chocolate right there. And then, uh, pep actually, he's got peppermint all right here. Okay. Cool. So, there you go, guys. That's it. That's the builds. Uh, we'll be streaming uh, come noon. I'm going to hurry and get this thing uploaded. If you got any questions, leave them down below. As always, the easy way to get a hold of me is on Discord. Got links to that down below. We got links to a Town Star Visualizer, which we were using earlier to show the salt build. We got also the refresh link, a refresh script keeps it when you have spinning tees also a double refresh script that wolftown made shout out to wolftown and crypto dude of course for helping those out got any questions i'll try and help you baby I'm like a warlord a stash i love you all take care bye bye Ooh, you made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching this video i want to shout out my patreons patreons from patreon and my new youtube members as well i got that going Appreciate all of you. Thank you so very much. Your help has been crucial to keeping me alive and keep streaming and keep helping and hopefully entertaining you along the way. If anything I can do to make it more worth your while, please let me know down below. Also, you can find me on my Discord. I have my Discord server link down below. Patreon link's down below. And then membership should be somewhere around here. Thank you all so very, very much. I really appreciate you. And I look forward to the future. And I hope you will come along for this journey with me. Thank you. Take care.